Welcome back to the channel. This morning we're headed back up to a lake that I was at exactly one week ago. On that trip we only caught two brook trout, nice brook trout. I'll show you those here in a second. There we go. You hit right at the right at the end here. Sick little fighter too. Awesome. Ooh, yeah. Look at this baby. Here we go. Nice one too. Let's see if I can land him. Oh, get in the net. Get in the net, bud. There you go. Dope. All right. I was starting to get a little worried about the freaking about this uh, spinner action here, but we got him, man. We got him. Got him hooked really good, actually. I'm gonna come home with me if I can get you off. There we go. Okay, let's put this on the old uh, little measuring board right here and see what we got. Sweet. Can you guys see that? First brook trout of the day. Look at that beautiful guy. A little over 14 inches. We're actually going to uh, bring this one home with us, put him on the stringer here. As long as he doesn't flop off. Oh man, that was a sick hit. That was a really beautiful hit. Right at the freaking boat. This guy jumped up and just smacked it. city flop in city okay this one's not as big another keeper though looks like a female too it was not coming off it could be a male my um oh yeah all the hooks got him my feet are getting so cold that i actually think that uh i'm gonna go get my hiking boots and put those on underneath or i am not gonna be able to do this float tube today so here's what it looks like Good old 12 incher give this camera a little look here beautiful beautiful another beautiful little brook trout gosh these things are just so pretty so those are some decent fish but not quite enough to make a solid entertaining video for you guys so the reason why we cut that trip short was because the brand new waders that i bought ended up having a little hole in them and one of my legs got completely drenched and this water is like icy cold right now i mean it's just fresh snow melt from the mountains so it's like 36 37 degrees couldn't really bear it anymore and then the other reason was well it was again windy and we got blown off the lake because of the wind so we're back up today as you can as you can see behind me and and here there is no wind here we go <laughs>
Well, here we go. We are out here on the lake. I had some trouble with my camera there for a second, the other one. And uh, we're back out on the water. We're gonna be throwing around a Joe's Fly spinner. And that is a combination fly and a spinner. I like to throw something like that early in the season for these high mountain trout because <clears throat> they seem to get pretty aggressive once the ice is off. So here we go. There we go. First one. Staying down. Must be pretty decent sized. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Nice, beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fat one. That is a beautiful male, it popped right off. Let me get the uh, the hook off of here. Gosh, that was pretty. That was probably about 10 casts in so far this morning. Water is still very brisk. Pretty thankful that I don't have a, uh, a leak today. Okay, let me give you guys a good look at this. Oh, if he doesn't flop away. Look at this beautiful brook trout. We'll give him a measure on him. He's not, I don't think he's quite master angler status, but uh, pretty darn close. Just one better look at him. Look at that beautiful fish. Gosh, they're so pretty. They are just beautiful. I'll get a measure on him real quick here too. My guess is probably close to 14 inches. Not a master, but beautiful, big, beautiful male brook trout. And, uh, oh man, almost a master. 14? 14 was my guess there. 14 was my guess and you can see it, he's just about 14. So we'll get on the stringer and back at it. All right, I'm taking a little break here on the beach and uh, my feet are cold, but no water this time. And I think I'm gonna switch it up back to the old jig. Uh, I only got, I got like three bites on the spinner, but only one fish and fished almost the whole lake. So I don't know what the heck is going on, but maybe this will stir them up. There we go. Finally. Jeez, that took forever. Get over here, little buddy. Finally. Holy cow. That was like two hours between fish. I know you can't see it at home there, but that's how long it was. Finally. Just jigging it along. I wonder if they're just lethargic because it's so cold. I don't know, but I'm going to put this one on the stringer. Give you guys at home a good look at this beautiful, probably, I would say, about a 12, 12 inch brook trout. Look at that beautiful fish. Gosh, they're just so pretty, aren't they? Some of those beautiful fish on the planet, I swear. So we'll get on the stringer and that's two. Two more to go. Yeah, must have been. Shoot. There we go. There's another one. All right, the jig's working a little better, especially if I just sit still and kind of take it easy. Sweet. Oh yeah, I gobbled that one. 
Gobbled her. Gobbled her, bud. Sweet. Another beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Another male. Perfect what we want to keep. If I could just catch males and keep males, that's exactly what I would keep is just only males. So we're going to put this one in the springer. One more to go and we got our limit. Shoot. That was it too. God. Missed him. Missed him, missed him, missed him. There we go. Yep. Oh, he's still coming, coming right towards me. Now he's digging. All right. All right. Ooh, that one's pretty. Look at the specs on that one. Beautiful way to end the day. Oh man, what a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. Let me get the uh, a little slack here. What a great way to end the day. That is exactly what I was hoping for. The jig is actually doing it doing it justice out here compared to, uh, this is this is probably the biggest, if it, if it is a female, it's probably the biggest one of the day for sure. Look at him just gobble that thing right in there, huh? That is exactly what we're looking for. Probably got it on the drop, jerked up, bam. And she was there. So beautiful, beautiful brook trout. That is exactly, what we were after today and we are going to end the video with that fish my freaking feet are about numb we've got our limit well that's going to be it for us today if you like this episode please like subscribe leave me a comment and i will see you next adventure